In this tutorial from Hobbyware.org, I will show you how to set up an RFID reader on Windows Internet of Things Core from start to finish. Some of the things we will go over will be products to purchase, hooking up RFID and installing the OS, the code, and what else you can do with the RFID sensor once you have a working prototype. The first things you will want to do is buy a Raspberry Pi B3 Plus or a Raspberry Pi Model B. I suggest picking up the B3 model instead of the Plus version as there is more support for this model. I will be using the Plus version in this video, however I will go over the things that you need to make the B work as well. I also suggest picking up a 5 volt power adapter and a 16 gigabyte memory card. These can be bought as a kit to save the hassle of finding the compatible parts. If you are not buying as a kit, then ensure that these parts are compatible with Windows Internet of Things Core. The second thing you need to buy is an RFID reader MFRC522. A simple search yields plenty of results on Amazon. You can buy from local do-it-yourself tech suppliers as well, and they are cheap, around $5 to $10 a piece. The last thing you will want to do is pick up some female to female pin header connection cables of various colors. Again, this is available on Amazon and is quite cheap. If you don't already have a soldering iron, then you will need to get one as well as some electronic solder. I don't suggest buying a low wattage soldering iron as they can be difficult to use effectively. Something around 60 watts should be sufficient. Once you have your parts, pull out the MFRC522 RFID board and solder the header to the board. Start by plugging in or powering on the soldering iron and applying water to the sponge. Once the soldering iron has reached temp, tin the tip of the soldering iron with solder and then touch the tip of the pin to be soldered. Ensure no two pins are inadvertently connected with a piece of solder. You can use a business card to keep the solder from transferring to another pin. Next, hook up the connections carefully in the following order. Ideally, use separate colors for each connection as this will allow you to identify the pins. This is a picture of the pin header on the Raspberry Pi. Note pin 1 is the second from the top on the left hand side when the USB and network ports are on the right. Pin 2 is directly above pin 1 and pin 3 is to the right of pin 1 and so on and so forth. Before proceeding any further ensure that you have correctly hooked up your Raspberry Pi to the MFRC 522. Fail failure to do so will result in lots of various errors. Now download the Windows IoT Core dashboard. A quick Google search for this product name will get you what you need. You will need to do this on a computer which supports SD cards. Next, if you are using a Raspberry Pi 3B, download the latest version of the software and install through the Windows IoT Core dashboard. If you are using a Raspberry Pi 3B+, you will need to install Insider Preview Build 17661 on the Raspberry Pi. It will not boot otherwise. Note that wireless and Bluetooth will not work on this build of the software. Once you have installed, boot up the Raspberry Pi. If successful, you should get a rainbow screen followed by the Windows loading screen. Next is the code. You can download my project file and have a working project to use, or you can do it by yourself using the following links. You can download this library and install it to your c -sharp application or this guy posts the whole library as one and you can copy and paste the code into its own c -sharp file. Using my code will allow you to see the UID in question and will allow you to scan the tag multiple times over as well as not having to develop a UI for the program. You can get this on hobbyware.org. Finally, you will need to run the code. Go to the properties of the project and change the target device to remote machine. 
and type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi as displayed on the screen of the Raspberry Pi. Next, make sure the build type is configured to ARM. Then hit play and with a little luck you will get a screen showing the application running on the Pi. Use Google to troubleshoot any issues you are having. Using my application will streamline a path to success and you can modify the code from there. You will know you hooked everything up correctly and the code is working if you get an RFID UID when you scan a tag. If you scan a tag and get repeating zeros, try waiting 10 seconds after the program loads before you scan. If you are still having issues, use your troubleshooting skills or go over this video again and you may find success. Congratulations if you got a UID to show up. Now, the next and most interesting to think about is what can you do with your prototype? I built a case for mine to hold all the wiring and electronics using SketchUp. From there, I will use the RFID to turn on and off a security system in my home. There are plenty of di ideas you could create. Dream big. Let me know what would be cool to make in the comments below. Maybe it'll be awesome enough for me to commit my time to. Thanks for watching and enjoy.